shocking papal blasphemy. In his Thursday morning mass, Pope Francis talked about the mystery of death. He explained that despite our sins, dying in the heart of the church, is a gift. This statement is utter nonsense and unscriptural. Pope Francis continues, it's a gift from God and we must pray for it. To say, Lord, grant me the gift of dying at my spiritual home, in the heart of the church. We are sinners. All of us are. But we're not traitors. No we are not corrupt. No we stay on the inside. The church, our mother loves us so, despite our sins, the church cleanses us. She's our mother. The Pope then added that every Christian should make an effort to leave a Christian legacy behind, once they pass away. What nonsense this statement is. God's church is his people who love him and keep his commandments. John 14 verse 15. We too, Pope Francis continued, should ask God for the grace to die in our spiritual home, within the heart of the church. We are all sinners, he said, but the church is like a mother who takes us just as we are even with our stains, and makes us clean. The above statement by the current Jesuit Pope is unbiblical. The shed blood at Calvary by our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ saves us through repentance and submission to Christ through the conviction of the indwelling Holy Spirit. The Bible says we are saved by grace through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. Ephesians 2 8. Biblical salvation is God's way of providing his people deliverance from sin and spiritual death through repentance and faith in his son Jesus Christ. Not the Catholic Church structure. That is idolatry. And pagan at that. 1 John 1 3 7 9 says, That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his son Jesus Christ. 1 John 1 3 But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. 1 John 7 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9 No way can a sinful human structure cleanse us from sin. Lovely Jesus Christ cleanses us from sin. This is what God through lovely Jesus Christ says in Matthew 18 verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. KJV. Matthew 18 20 is simple to understand. Where two or three are gathered. It has nothing to do with going to a literal church. Christ is the church. It takes two to witness. If you are worshipping with two or more and I in agreement then Christ is there with you. It means what it says. Where is not a specific place. Two or three shows law of duality that two or more are in agreement worshipping. There I am. Jesus' presence, in their midst, among them. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 17 says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. That means faith in God, not the Catholic Church. Habakkuk 2 4 Galatians 3 11. This corrupt world has almost reached the condition existing just before the days of Noah and the flood. Jesus is coming soon. The bells on the garment of our high priest are sounding louder and louder. Get ready dear brothers and sisters.